Hello everyone, I'm Jensen with WTOL. A woman has died after she was shot inside the Capitol building, but officials are saying that the building is now secure and lawmakers are already back to work trying to confirm the electoral vote. Now, I'm here to get you up to speed on what's happened in the last few hours. The National Guard, as well as state and federal police, were called in for control, and the mayor of Washington, D.C. imposed a 6 p.m. curfew during the climax of today's breach, after Trump supporters were able to make it inside the Senate chamber. At around 4 p.m., a woman was shot, and about two hours later, we learned that she had died. The violent occupation of the White House was put to an end by Capitol Police after around four hours, and the building was deemed secure just before 6 p.m. After the announcement rang out throughout the building, lawmakers applauded. Vice President Mike Pence returned to the Senate shortly after, although his press secretary said he never actually left the Capitol. But not long after Pence's return at around 7 p.m., Stephanie Grisham, Chief of Staff and Press Secretary for First Lady Melania Trump, announced her resignation on Twitter. Now, she didn't explicitly state that this was due to the breach, only that it was an honor to serve the country in the White House. President Donald Trump tweeted multiple times throughout this, and he eventually was banned for 12 hours from the platform. So let's take a look at his most recent tweet. He said, these are the things and events that happen when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously stripped away from great patriots who have been badly and unfairly treated for so long. Not long after this tweet was sent, Twitter removed three of the president's posts for the first time, citing severe violations of Twitter's civic integrity policy. Twitter even went a step further, writing that the president has been locked out of Twitter for 12 hours. The platform is requiring that the president remove those tweets before his profile can be unlocked. Facebook soon followed Twitter's lead, announcing at 8.30 p.m. that the president would be banned from its platform as well for 24 hours. Now, things are rapidly unfolding, so for updates throughout the night, make sure you check us out on WTOL at 11 and online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course on WTOL.com.